and they're like, yeah, what's her name? I don't know her name because I've never seen her before. And here she is at prom, at prom. Hey y'all, it's the day after prom and I have a big prom story to tell and it's not about Gary and it's not about, it's not about really anyone that you know. While prom was going on, a trespasser came on this property, uninvited guest, a pure stranger stepped foot here and I am sorry to say that it was kids that noticed it first. I'm not even kidding. It freaked me out. It freaked Lester out. And then other people were coming up to us and telling us like, hey, this is, this is real. They're not making it up. I went out and checked. They're not wrong. Someone is here that is a stranger to all of us. And I will tell you that my heart stopped. Everyone's heart stopped. So much like they do, our dogs were barking and going bananas. The problem was, is that all of our dogs were either in this garage or this house. And I thought it was weird that they had been primarily silent. You know, we fed them and normally they come inside after we feed up in the evenings for a while. And then the guardians will go out later in the evening to protect. But while the guests were here, we didn't want any you know, conditions where people were leaving in vehicles or coming in vehicles and it just, people were dressed nice and food was out and it just wasn't a good environment for the dogs to be around. So we put them in this garage with food and water and then Fiona uh, and Ritzy and Trixie were in the house and relaxing and Sadie, excuse me, and Sadie. So we had half and half split up. Well, all of a sudden, little Alora comes and tells me after, you know, everyone's here already and it's well into the evening and people have eaten and people are dancing and okay, we were drinking. We were having a good time. All of a sudden, Alora comes around the corner and goes, Jamie, something's wrong. And I was, I laughed a little bit because I thought, you know, kids can be dramatic and something's wrong can be anything because they watch our videos. So they know like, did the dogs get out? Did, you know, did other things happen? And I was like, what's wrong, baby? And she goes, I mean, there, there's just something, there's something here. And I was like, okay, tell me what it is, baby. Tell me what it is. And Bailey was with her. And Bailey is the most quiet and shy girl, but still was with her and was, was also confirming Alora's concern. So I stopped everything I was doing and I was like, tell me what's going on. That is when Alora said, well, what's the black dog's name? I was like, oh, that's Stella. I realized that she had probably had not met Stella in person and that maybe it was scary to her because of her ears, you know. Stella, Stella's ears can be scary to a little girl who hasn't seen them before and that her legs are broken and previously broken and that she was limping a little bit. So I just, I just said, oh, that's Stella. She goes, oh, okay, and walked away. I didn't think anything else of it for a little while until they came back and said, Jamie, I know who Stella is. I watched the videos. And Bailey goes, Jamie, I met Stella at my mom's shower. I know who Stella is, but who's the other black dog? And I went, what other black dog? And all of a sudden, I was like thinking to myself, do they mean Trixie? Like, are they, is it just dark out and the dogs, somebody went out to pet them. Megan and Ellie usually go visit all the animals, check on everything. Did somebody just let the dogs out and these girls are confused. So I walk around the corner and I come out right here, right here by the mini truck. That one. And lo and behold sits a very large black dog who I presume to be a Rottweiler breed, staring at me, moving her little nub. Clearly scared, but also very kind and gentle. The girls are petting it like it's something that they've 
known their whole life and they're like, yeah, what's her name? I don't know her name because I've never seen her before. And here she is at prom, at prom. And I'm so perplexed, so perplexed. So I noticed she has a collar on with a electronic device. Who I, what I initially thought was a shock collar. No, let me show you. So yes, this baby, this baby right here came to prom and she's clearly getting to know our dog. But here's this baby with this collar on. And hey, look, stop it, Christmas. Who has this device on her. This device turns out to be a tracking device and it is charged and it is on. And I thought to myself like, okay, someone's clearly looking for her because she has this device on and it's on. So we kept our dogs in last night and we kind of just thought, okay, well, the gate was open from everyone being here. No big deal. Well, today, as you can see, she's still here. She's still here. Now, our dogs are being very cautious with her. Like, they're okay with her because they're okay with new dogs. But they are very much, like, telling her the rules around here as well. So, as you can see, she uh, knows a little bit about here in a very short amount of time. And... I've looked on the inside of this collar. It does have a unique ID. I have contacted the company that's for. They're not open on Sundays, sadly. Um, she's house trained. She's very clean. She doesn't have a flea on her, as you can see. She's not malnourished. She does have a little bit of a weird walk to her and maybe a swollen hip. I'm not quite sure if that's fresh or old. But at the end of the day, she's a very sweet dog who clearly belongs to someone. And I have so, so many questions. My questions are though, like, we were loud last night. We were probably 30 plus people last night. We are not in a large community where we have neighbors directly on top of us and we know the neighborhood dogs. So how did she end up here? Did she come up the driveway? Did she come from the woods? I don't know the answer. And what would make a dog comfortable to come up to something like that? Where you can clearly smell all of our dogs. Where you have ostriches in every pasture. Where I just, I feel like there was a DJ. It was loud. There were people, there were cars, there were lights. There were, there was a lot of activity. And for a dog to just mosey on up and be so trusting of us humans, it it's just weird. For her to have a tracking device on her collar that's on, that no one has looked up, also weird. She's sweet. She's potty trained. Like I said, she's clean. She doesn't have a flea or tick on her. And when I say she's clean, like her hair is more silky and smooth than mine. She's eating a very healthy diet. Someone has to be missing her. And I just don't understand how last night she appeared out of nowhere and how she hasn't left. I mean, we have all female dogs here. So it's not like, and she doesn't appear to be in heat. She appears to be fixed. And I'm just so perplexed. If I had a GPS tracker on my dog, I would be looking for it if my dog was missing. And it makes me wonder, did something happen to someone? Was she in a car that was in a car accident? And I've asked all these questions to people that would know something like that. And there's no answers. So I'm going to do my best to continue to find her owner, but... It makes no sense at all. So for now, set a seven, we're eight. And um, we'll keep you posted on the search for her family. She's really sweet and gentle. And she really loves Lester. So there's that. 
Anyway, if you're local and you know something, or if you see a missing dog that looks like her on Paw Boost or anything else, please let us know because something's weird. And maybe that maybe the tracking company will contact the owners tomorrow once they're in the office and see our request. I don't know. But it was a super weird twist of prom night. More weird than Gary.